to pi d this is pi pi d and when we are then we are going to divide the circle and the line both into eight parts okay this is drawn or uh, the circle is being divided into eight parts and then the line will be divided into eight parts as well okay i'll just go back okay so this is how the line uh, lines are divided into eight parts and the circle is divided into eight parts the next point uh, let's draw tangents to all the points on the, the circle that we have received so a tangent to point 1 tangent to point 2 tangent to point 3 tangent to point 4 tangent to point 5 I hope you all know how to draw a tangent these all can be referred to the initial chapters where these all points are mentioned okay now what we are going to do is now the simple step is from point 1 to P we are 1 to P we are going to take and we are going to cut an arc from point 2 to p we are going to take the distance and then from 1 to p cut an arc from 2 to p cut an arc on the tangent which is passing to uh, 2 from 3 to p take uh, take center as 3 and cut an arc on the tangent which is passing to 3 from 4 to p the point will come 5 uh, 5 to p and then finally 6 to p and 7 to 8 and 8 will be the point on on the circle so all the red points as you can see are the points which are visible on uh, to you so all the points we have uh, we have got on the screen the next point is we have to draw the involute by drawing all the points so this is the involute that is required by us moving on construction of a spiral another this is also easy it, suppose in the question we are given to draw a spiral and let's see uh, any distance p o is given and uh, any distance p o is given as x and we can begin again by taking radius equal to p o and center is equal to o let's draw a circle first we have taken a point o and we have we are going to draw a circle now the next point is we are going to move on and mark, mark the point p and the next is dividing the circle into eight parts and dividing p o again into eight equal parts so first the circle is divided into eight parts one we are taking the points as dash and then dividing p o into eight equal parts one two three four five six seven and eight next step which radius equal to o one and o s center will be drawing an arc till line o one and mark the point as p one and repeat the same through all the points so what we did is we are taking point uh, from O to 1 and then drawing from uh, we are drawing o radius as O to 1 and this, uh, we are drawing that arc up till the line which is passing through uh, or the radius o, 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 sorry I just repeat it the radius is equal to O to 1 and the line which is passing from O to 1 dash we will take the arc up till there so 1 to P dash is the uh, point that we have got now from O to 2 what we are going to do is we are going to draw an arc which starts from 2 and ends on the line which is passing through O2 dash so we have point P2 so similarly we have P3 we have P4 we have P5 P6 and uh, similarly we have uh, end the curve now we have starting from P if we join P1 P2 P3 P4 P5 P6 P7 P8 and up till the last P8 we get the all we get our required spiral so this is the required spiral that we have now uh, we are we are running short on time so we'll just solve one example that will be given or say okay we'll just this is uh, uh, this is an example of uh, parabola a ball is thrown from a boundary of a cricket ground reaches the wicket keepers gloves following a parabolic path the maximum height achieved by the ball uh, above the ground is 31 meters and the radius uh, radial distance from the boundary to the wicket keeper is 75 mm assuming that the position of the ball as one meter above the ground construct the path of the ball use rectangle method and tangent method so we'll discuss one method uh, as far as possible so here what is basically happening is a, a cricketer is on the uh, on the field is near the boundary and he throws a ball and then the wicket keeper gloves uh, gloves the ball and what basically happens is that there is like for example if uh, I've, I've this is the path which is being traced 
and one meter above the ground this has been caught by the wicket keeper so what curve has been traced the curve has been traced of something of this sort as you can see by my hands so this is the curve that has been traced so let's move on and see how the construction is made using first the rectangle method and then the tangent method if you have time so the first thing that is given uh, first method using the rectangle method the base width 75 mm and the axis height is 30 mm and we have to go 30 minus 1 that is 29 so rectangle we first we create a rectangle the here what will happen is the maximum distance that is the radial distance is by sr or pq that is 75 and that th it was given 31 so we have to assume that uh, what why we are assuming one meter above the ground is because the ball the uh, fielder will be throwing the ball one meter above the ground and the uh, wicket keeper will be catching the ball one meter above the ground now it can also happen that it is mentioned that the fielder is throwing the ball from ground zero from height zero and the wicket keeper is catching the ball at uh, one meter above the ground so in that case what will happen is here the length will be 31 and here the length will be 30 uh, 31 also where one and the end point will be here rather than on r now we'll mark the points of the maximum height which is this point where uh, maximum height we're considering that uh, the center will be the height of maximum uh, height at uh, the center point will be the uh, position of the maximum height uh, it can be mentioned that this maximum height is uh, at attained after these many uh, this much uh, distance from the point initial point so we have to consider that in case uh, that is mentioned in the question then in the next points we are going to divide uh, ps qr sd and dr all into seven equal parts just to finish up the question i'll just uh, show you how the division looks like so these are the div uh, divisions that uh, are shown on your screen now what we are going to do is we are going to draw a line connecting through c and point one on a vertical segment on either sides i'll just show it to you directly from c we are drawing lines from one to seven uh, on both the sides and now uh, the next point will be from one we have to draw a line up till point uh, with a line which is passing through c1 or say c1 and we have point p1 and that's p2 p3 and p1 dash on both the sides so these are the points that we get and once we get all the points the only thing that is left to do is join it by a very smooth curve to have the required parabola so we will end with the session here because we are running short on time next time we'll uh, join up and uh, the only thing i'll say is to uh, you know nobody is a master of engineering graphics but yes practice makes you you know it takes you closer to perfectness so just practice a lot and uh, i know the exams are approaching so all the best for your examinations and see you next time